Hi, my name is Dan Tepfer. I'm the co-founder of Farplay, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set Farplay up, starting from absolutely nothing, all the way to having a connection with another person that you can play music with through the internet. The first thing we need in order to play music with someone using Farplay is to connect our computer to Ethernet. You get a cable like this for about 10 bucks. So right now I'm going to show you how to connect this Ethernet plug directly into your main router. So in my studio, the internet comes into this closet here, and you can see this is the modem, which is the, the, the main receiver of the internet from outside. And then that modem connects to this router. Uh, and this router uh, creates a Wi-Fi signal, and it also, on the back, has ethernet ports. And in this case, uh, they're labeled LAN, LAN. So uh, that's local area network. And that's where you want to plug your ethernet cable into. And that's it. That's all you have to do on the side of your router. So the next step is to connect the ethernet into your computer. So I have a 2019 MacBook Pro here and it doesn't have a built-in ethernet port. So I have this ethernet adapter. Uh, they come in all kinds of different shapes and sizes, but basically what I need for this computer is a USB-C to ethernet adapter and they're very easy to find. They're maybe about $12. Um, for older computers, you'll want a USB-A to Ethernet adapter, uh, but that's all there is to it. And so I'll plug that in to one of the ports on my computer. And then I'll take the Ethernet cable uh, that's connected directly to my router and plug that into the Ethernet adapter. And there we go. Farplay's latency is so low that we absolutely require headphones in order to use it. There's no time to do echo cancellation with Farplay. So we found that the absolute simplest way to set up Farplay is to use one of these earbuds. Um, these are Apple EarPods, and uh, you can get them for very cheap. Um, they have the advantage of not only being earphones, but they're also, they also have a built-in microphone, and that microphone is low latency. Now I should point out that the built-in mic on most Macs made after 2015, unfortunately has a built-in hardware latency of 30 milliseconds, which is a lot. So you don't want to use that, that built-in mic on your computer. But you can simply use one of these uh, pairs of earbuds with a built-in mic and that'll, that'll work great. That'll work with, uh, with no extra latency. I'm going to take these earbuds and plug them into the headphone jack of the computer. And there you go. If you have an external audio interface, like a Focusrite Scarlett or an Apogee Ensemble or any other kind of external interface, uh, that'll work really great with Farplay as well. But for now, I just want to show you this very simplest example of using earbuds. Now we're simply going to download Farplay from the farplay.io website. So I'm going to go to farplay.io in my web browser, hit download at the top here, and then since I'm on Mac, I'm going to hit download Farplay for Mac. That is going to show up in my downloads folder. So I can click, click here to show downloads. And here we have a DMG file, which is our Farplay installer. Now I'm going to double click that. And now we have the Farplay installer. And as it says, I'm going to drag the Farplay app into this alias of my applications. In my case, I already had Farplay installed, so I'm going to click Replace to replace it with this newer version. Okay, now I'm going to open my applications. I'm going to open it. I get this message, Farplay is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? And of course, the answer is yes, open. Okay, now here's our Farplay window. And you'll see here that it says Farplay free. That means that I am currently not subscribed to Farplay and that's totally fine. Um, I can use Farplay in its free mode and that'll be great as well. But if I want some of these extra features such as unlimited sessions, multi-user sessions, and uh, the ability to record my sessions, then I could click login subscribe, which will take me to the website um, to create an account. I'll do that right now. 
and here's my account. And what I can do now is um, if I didn't have a subscription, I could get a subscription in this area. And then over here, I can click authorize this device. Okay, it says I've successfully authorized my device. And now I'm gonna go back to Farplay and you'll see that it now says Farplay Standard Plus, reflecting the fact that my Standard Plus subscription is now connected to this um, device. So now we're ready to make some music. Um, I'm gonna go here, hit New Session. And now I have the session ID, and I'm gonna text that to my friend Massimo. Of course, I could have just copied and then pasted it into an email or into my Messages app on my, on my Mac, that would have been fine too. In the meantime, while I'm waiting for Massimo to connect, I can hit Enter Session, and here I can set my preferences. So uh, I can check that my microphone is set to my external microphone, and I can set that my headphones are set to external headphones. That's in the simplest case where I'm just using these Apple earbuds. But obviously, if I were using an audio interface, I could select that as my microphone and my headphones. And of course, you can also select two different devices if you like. So I'm going to take this opportunity while I'm waiting for Massimo to connect to start recording. I'm going to hit Start Recording here, and I'm going to hit Record Multitrack. That's going to give me these perfectly synced stems of each participant in the session. And uh, I'm going to record them to my desktop here. I'm just going to use the default um, naming scheme of Farplay and hit save. Now we're recording and you can see the timer starting here uh, next to the recording button. Hello. Hey, Massimo. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing, Dan? Good. Looks like we have a great connection. Yeah. Nine um, milliseconds latency. Yeah, so I'm going to turn my auto button off for latency. If both participants are connected via Ethernet, then it's best to turn auto off. And there's this green bar here that gives you a good estimate of what you might want to set your latency to. Now, in my case, I'm going to move it towards the left side of that bar. And here we are at 10 milliseconds of latency, which is just great. That's like playing with somebody 10, 10 feet away from you in a room because in air, um, sound travels at just about one foot per millisecond. So we should be able to play uh, with completely unnot unnoticeable latency. It should be just as if we were in a recording studio together. So Massimo, on your end, it's also nine milliseconds? Nine milliseconds, yes. Perfect. OK, so one of the things I can do at this point is set the level of monitoring of Massimo's sound. So this will be how, much, how loud Massimo is in my earbuds. So I could bring him down, bring him up. Seems like about zero dB is pretty good. And if I wanted to, I could also turn myself up in my, in my headphones. So now I can hear myself in my headphones. I prefer not to hear myself, but uh, you might want to hear yourself. So uh, shall we start video? Sure. OK, so I'm going to hit Start Video. And hey, Massimo. How are you doing? How's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you. Yay. And there we are. We're ready to make some music. Yes. All right. One, two, one, two, three, four. That's it. That's how easy it is to connect to somebody over Farplay. And the beauty of it is that it doesn't take any time, right? Like, if you have 20 minutes in your day and you want to play a couple tunes with a friend or with a couple friends, uh, you can just make it happen so easily. So we, we really hope that you enjoy using Farplay and thanks for watching.